The Okanagan is being invaded, this time by a plant, Japanese knotweed, and it can grow up to 15 feet tall. It's one of the weeds that, uh, you know, we, it's, it seems to have been perhaps transplanted at some point in time in BC through, um, you know, people bringing it in as landscape plants. What can it do? Um, it can spread, right? That's, that's the main concern is it takes over from existing vegetation. And so it will spread, it will, uh, you know, start to clump and uh, create large areas where it's pushing out the native vegetation. Can it also affect houses or homes in any way? It can because it uh, it will actually break through, um, you know, concrete, etc. Um, it's uh, it's like a nasty dandelion, right? That uh, grows up in your asphalt driveway. It uh, it will keep coming back because it grows under the ground, uh, but it is strong enough that it will actually push up through concrete or create problems with foundations or things like that if it's up against the sides of houses. The bylaw department knows of eight to ten incidents in Vernon of Japanese knotweed, and they are eager to get the word out to gardeners and homeowners of the problem. Kate Bowie for Castanet News in Vernon.